AMC had an amazing day today, but look at the after hours. We're already ready to bust $40 per share after hours. And guys, this is incredible territory. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the kind of stuff that we absolutely need to see for the stock price to go, like they say, to the moon. Now look, I know there's a lot of FUD around there surrounding this whole thing with Mudrick and why would Adam Aaron sell shares of AMC to Mudrick, which is owned partially by Citadel and blah, blah, blah. So let's go over that a little bit in this video. It's something that needs to be addressed, okay? Because look, I'm a critic of Adam Aaron's, right? I'm not, I'm going to hold the guy accountable, but this isn't something that we should be worried about. This isn't something that's going to stop the squeeze. This isn't something that, that is going to drive away new investors. Absolutely not. So, of course, if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we're growing. We are growing our portfolios together. My goodness. Look, if you would have told me last week that AMC was going to be knocking on 40's door, I wouldn't have believed you until maybe Friday, okay, when AMC was ripping through 36. But it's nuts to see the after hours action that we're seeing right now above $39 per share, looking extremely strong, and there's no signs of stopping it. But that's what's happening with the stock price. Let's talk about what's happening with the company because a lot of people were a little bit upset today that Adam and Aaron, that Adam Aaron announced that they issued 8 plus million shares to Mudrick. It's a small hedge fund. And let's talk about kind of why they chose Mudrick, where these shares came from, and, and you know what's going on with that whole deal. So back in January, might be difficult to remember, all the way back in January now, right? AMC was facing bankruptcy. We know this. It was the pandemic 2020. The coronavirus had shut down all the movie theaters. We know that AMC was on the verge of bankruptcy. And Adam Aaron took a deal with Mudrick Capital Management for a $100 million loan. Now, the term of that loan, I believe, is through the beginning of 2026 or the end of 2026 at a 17% annualized interest rate. It is not a cheap loan. Okay, by by no means is that a cheap loan. That's $17 million a year that they're paying in interest alone. Well, part of that deal was that Mudrick was required to buy 8 million shares of AMC stock. Now, they didn't have a stipulation on when they had to buy it or anything like that. So they know that they have to buy 8 million shares. Of course, if they would have bought 8 million shares Back in January, back in February, when we were trading at $2 a share to $5 a share, all these low prices that we've seen, they would have been doing extremely well right now. They would have rode the price up from $5 a share all the way up to $40 a share, just like you and I. Okay. Now, here's the kicker, though. Mudrick doesn't believe in AMC stock. They do not believe in AMC as a company. They do not want that type of risk on their portfolio, so they are much happier with debt, knowing that debt is going to be the first thing that AMC has to pay off, and, and it's got priority over equity holders. Okay, so that is why they did not keep their position in AMC. A lot of people think that it's it's kind of scary to see that Mudrick bought uh, 8 million shares or 8.5 million shares at $27 today, and then they turned right around and they sold them at, I believe, 32 or 32 and change, somewhere in that ballpark, and made roughly $40 million in a couple hours. Okay, so let's just talk about that play real quick and, and why it's not something that you should be afraid of or new investors shouldn't be afraid of. One of the things that Mudrick Capital said was that AMC stock is overvalued. Okay, guys. We know that AMC is overvalued. I don't think there's a single ape. I don't think there's a single person that, that has been watching AMC on YouTube or Twitter or Reddit or anywhere for that matter. I don't think there's a single person that would be willing to say that, yes, based on its current fundamentals, based on its current balance sheet, its current income statement, all of its financial statements, AMC is overvalued. Okay, I don't think you're going to find anybody that, that talks to the contrary. But here's the deal. Nobody 
is investing. Nobody is buying AMC stock because of their fundamentals at this point. It is because of a short squeeze. Now, if you don't know what a short squeeze is by now, the hedge funds that shorted the position are obligated to buy it back at whatever price we charge them. That's the beauty of it. So everybody's buying up shares of AMC stock knowing that we're going to charge them obscene amounts of money to buy these shares of AMC back and therefore we're going it's going to be a very lucrative trade. It's not based on fundamental fundamentals. We know that AMC is overvalued. It's like guys, we know this by now. So it may have been misconstrued as FUD by maybe some of the newer investors that aren't exactly sure what's going on with AMC yet. But look, if you're brand new or if you know somebody that's brand new and, and they're just getting into AMC, make sure to share this video with them because it's not about the value of AMC. It's not about the value of the company. It's about the potential that we can charge the hedge funds. Okay, because they are obligated to buy the shares back. Therefore, we can charge whatever prices that we want to charge. And that's where all of these, you might think they're ludicrous prices, they're, they're, they're crazy, we're never going to reach those prices. But that's where all these numbers come from, is because there's no limit on what the hedge funds have to pay. So that's why everybody's so excited. And uh, yeah, I hope this sheds a little bit of light on why it was Mudrick Capital it's because the Mudger Capital was required to buy 8 million shares. Look, they believe AMC is overpriced and they do not want to play for a short squeeze. They don't want that type of risk on their portfolio. So they got in, they got out. Do I think they could have gotten in earlier? Absolutely. But earlier, were we experiencing the type of volatility that we currently have in AMC? No. I think they, they played it in a very strategic manner. They did a they did a very good job of making some money today. The volatility in the FOMO buying that's taking place right now is really catapulting AMC stock to new heights. So they played into that volatility almost perfectly. They knew they didn't want to be holding shares of AMC. They were able to get in. Hours, lo- hours later, they were able to get out with an extraordinary 40 plus million dollar gain on their portfolio. So hats off to them. And if you're saying, where do these shares come from? Look, I kind of want to know exactly where these shares came from too. I would love it if Adam Aaron cleared that up as to where these shares came from. But look, I I believe, and this is speculation at this point, but I believe that those shares were already set aside in the deal that had been set up back in January. So, you, you know, following that, when we saw that all of these shares, we had 43 million shares left to issue that were authorized. There are 20 plus million shares available out there for the public or not for the public for for executive compensation packages and stuff like that i believe that that eight million that was already allocated towards mudrick capital was already accounted for but you know i would love some clarity so if you guys have come across anything that you've seen on that let us know down in the comments below or or you know maybe if trey's watching or somebody's watching right now and you really want to clear that up with the ceo of amc i believe that would be awesome but i don't think that it's necessarily something And guys, I'll be the first to to not throw a fit, but I'll be the first to call it out on dilution. You know I'm not for dilution. I don't want to see new shares entering the market. So I don't think that this was that big of a deal because the shares were already accounted for. Yes, we knew Mudrick wasn't going to hold, so it's not something that you know is creating any FUD out there because we know that they're not going to hold this stock long term. And I don't want anybody to get their hands on this stock if they're not going to hold it for the long term. I want day traders, I want swing traders to just move aside, get out of the picture, let the people who are going to hold for a short squeeze get a hold of the stock, and we can really watch this thing take off. Because guys, it's like we're we're on countdown mode right now. Every time the price moves higher, we are on countdown mode, and I'm waiting for the stock price. And who knows? It may be jumping right now as you're watching this video, but who knows how high this stock price can go and how fast it's going to get there. And that's why I stay so excited about it. So I hope that each and every one of you are on the same page. And and let us know down in the comments below right now, if you are holding AMC, if this kind of stuff scares you, or if you are holding the line, no matter what, show the rest of us that this is something that we're not doing alone. All of us are in this together, and we are going to make this the best trade possible and walk away with... such large sums of money 
that it, it, people are going to be talking about this and remember this short squeeze for the rest of history. It's going to be amazing, guys. So let us know down there if that subscribe button is still red. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we're growing our portfolios together. Claybro.com. If you want to go over to Claybro.com, make sure to check it out. You can get some free, uh, not free shirts. No, definitely not. You can get some shirts. They are, are very nice. They're high quality shirts. They're not the 100% cotton or anything like that. They're good shirts. Check those out. What else we got? Twitter. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Use the link in the description below for Weeble. Sign up. Sell those free stocks. Get AMC. It's like you got nothing out of your pocket at that point and you are a part of the squeeze. And uh, I believe that's it. So until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.